So here we are with the shift shaft assembly slid through, just slotted into place. And you'll be able to see here the star, the gears, and this shaft. There should be these peaks should be equidistant, but they're not here. Now it's not insurmountable. You just go down here, and there's an adjusting. Um, it's it's a screw head, but it's a it's a bolt. The head actually is a cam, so as you turn it, it will adjust. Now, trick. There's a lock nut behind. Difficulty getting it out, and then actually operating the um, the, the adjusting mechanism. I'll just move that shifter shaft assembly out of the way. So I released two flanges that, that came up to lock in the lock nut to stop that moving. I put on a, um, a put on the socket. Couldn't get it on at first until I saw the those flanges. And if you have any difficulty, slide out the shifter shaft assembly and you'll be able to move it with that once the flanges are removed. Now that's okay, but here's the difficulty. And I've taken this little beauty out of that bolt and that lock nut out of my donor engine over there. I wondered why I couldn't adjust the screw head and then turn the lock nut back in. Well they seize and they seize up because they're not adjusted every day. So what I've done, I've put this in the in the vise, uh, in the mold grips here and I'll have to show you one handed and on the other hand coated in grease and various other lubricants, taking the 14 mil and as best I can and then started to work it and loosen it. It was very very tight and it's absolutely impossible for a human hand to adjust that and then put the lock nut back in place. So I'm going to work on this a little bit more, make it very adjustable and swap this one for that one or even take that one out and uh, work my magic with that. Let's see how we go.